Hey guys, new leaks of standard iPhone 16 are out, the camera design seems different this time and why all of the renders are mostly having a vertical cameras. So today we will talk 5 things about iPhone 16, by the way in this video we will just talk about the standard iPhone 16, so if you want to know about the iPhone 16 Pro, I've already uploaded a video on that, you can check that out on my channel. Now let's take a look at the renders of iPhone 16. First thing we can notice is the camera design. It is different from the previous renders. If you guys don't know, there were two expected renders of standard iPhone 16. First one with the iPhone 12 design and second one looks familiar with iPhone X. But now it's different, the camera hump is smaller, just covering the part of two cameras. Flash is also out of that hump area. We can notice that in three of the renders, cameras are vertically placed and the reason is to record special video for the recently launched Vision Pro headset. So we can expect the iPhone 16 to get vertically placed camera for sure, but the design is not confirmed yet. We will definitely get to see design change rumors while getting close to launch. For now, these three renders are rumored. In future, more renders will come out and I will show you a close look of them. I make renders by my own. If you like the renders that I'm showing you, please subscribe to the channel. Now moving from the camera design, if we look at the body, we can notice there is a button on the bottom and that is expected to be a capture button. What it does is that it will be a dedicated feature for capturing photos and videos. I don't think so that this dedicated button is gonna come with standard models. If the rumors are true and actually the capture button comes, then it might be exclusive to the pro models not gonna come with the standard iPhone 16, it's not official, everything is based on speculations from reputable source so take it as a grain of salt and let me know your thoughts on the capture button. However, it is also rumored that standard iPhone 16's mute switch is getting replaced with the XN button which is currently present on the iPhone 15 Pro models. It is also rumored that the buttons might be unified where we will get to see vibration feedback while pressing it instead of clicking mechanism. Overall the design is exactly the same, similar bezels with dynamic island and rounded edge, main difference can be seen on the iPhone 16 is the cameras. Moving on to the display, I know everyone is waiting for the high refresh rate but sadly still we are going to get 60Hz refresh rate on iPhone 16. But there is a good news, according to the Mac rumors, Apple may bring us micro lens technology and what it's going to do is that even while using the device with high brightness, it will consume less power maintaining brightness levels which will result even better battery life. We can also expect high peak brightness and always on display on the standard iPhone 16 models. Talking about the battery life, rumors suggest that iPhone 16 and 16 Pro Max will feature larger batteries than their predecessors but the iPhone 16 Plus may have reduced capacity. The iPhone 16 is said to have a 6% increase over the iPhone 15 with the iPhone 16 Pro Max gaining a 5% increase. In contrast, iPhone 16 Plus is rumored to have a 9% reduction in capacity. Why there is a reduction in capacity for the Plus model? Model, we don't know yet but due to the micro lens technology we will get to see better battery life so this is all about the battery now let's move on to the chipset iPhone 16 will be featured with A18 chipset which means standard iPhone 16 will get the chipset of iPhone 15 Pro. Just the naming will be changed to A18 but there is a catch. On Mac rumors, here you can see according to one rumor claims that the iPhone 16 and 16 Plus will have A17 chips made using a different manufacturing process to the A17 Pro in the iPhone 15 Pro. The iPhone 15 Pro's A17 Pro chips is fabricated using TSMC's N3B process but Apple reportedly plans to switch to the lower cost entry e process for next year's standard A17 chip designed for the iPhone 16 and 16 Plus. It means iPhone 16 is not exactly getting the A17 Pro chip, instead use lower cost version of that. Right now Apple has heavy games like Resident Evil 4, Dead Stranding but only limited to Pro models. So if upcoming iPhone 16 is going to get the chip of iPhone 15 Pro, then it might be possible to play those games on standard models as well. There are other things that we can expect from iPhone 16 as well. Right now, no any camera specs are out and also it is expected that iPhone 16 is gonna come out with iOS 18. Along with that, lots of AI features are also expected. Whenever more details come out, I will update you. So these are the 5 things about the iPhone 16. We can expect even more design change for the iPhone 16. So subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for that. Peace out.